Hello everybody, this is Gavin speaking. And today we will learn the CASA software. Okay, after we installation this software and in the desktop, we can see this image. We just double click, we log in this software. And this is the login image. And usually for us, we use the MKTS user login to log in this uh, program. The first one, this is organization code for our showroom. For each showroom have specific uh, organization code. The second one, this is the username, for our designer's username. And next one is for the password, the password. Uh, the last one is for verification code. For example, here we just input S7, S7HE, and then log in. Then we can uh, open this software. And uh, by the way, this software is for online version. Online version, that means before we use software, please make sure our connection, internet connection is working. Okay, and from here we can see this is the interface of this uh, software. And uh, the first one is for skin. Skin, this area is for some sample design. Uh, for this area, we can show our customer what this software looks like very quickly. Okay, and usually, usually we do not use this part. Okay, the second one is for the host type. This is a very important part for our software because in this uh, host type layout, we will finish the room layout, finish the 2D room. And then we have several ways to create the room. The first way is for free work. For the free work, we have two options. The first one is for painting, and the second one is for inside. First, we try the first one just with the painting. And left click will be okay. And in this area, left click to confirm, to select the first point. And the second point, we can just input the size, the wings. Suppose here we just input uh, 5 meter. Okay, then it's come up. So this, this wall, the size is 5 meter. Okay, and the second part, the second point, we also can just input the size and also uh, left click to confirm the second part will be okay. Okay, and from here we can see the size is 3655 mm. So this size is including, include the thickness of the wall. So that means this size is from the mid wall to another mid wall. It's including the thickness of the wall. So here we just left click to confirm the second part. Okay, next, uh, for the next point, uh, if we want to change the angle of this wall, because usually if the default uh, wall is vertical or horizontal, if we want to change this, this uh, angle from 90 degree to some other degree, we just press control press control then we can just input this angle suppose here we choose the angle to be 120 degree then enter so now from here we can see the angle is changed okay and also from here left click to confirm the second part okay and next we can connect these two points okay press shift press shift can change this uh, direction can change this direction press shift and from here left click left click with okay. Then after finish this wall, just right click, right click to finish the layout, the finish layout of the room. And here we have to know the for room size, for room space must be closed, cannot, cannot be open. If this room is closed, then from the top view we can see there is a floor, the wood floor is come out. If the wall is if the room is not closed the floor will not come out okay so this is the first uh, option for the free wall the painting so all the size is from the middle wall to another middle wall okay then we can delete next we check and uh, try the second one is for the inside try second one for inside left click and in this empty space left click to confirm this first point and also from here, we can just input a size or left click to confirm the second point. And from here, you can see this size, this size, 4408 is from the middle to middle. That means this size is not including the thickness of the wall. It's not including thickness of the wall. And press shift, okay, here. Then right click, 
right click to finish the uh, drawing of this room okay and uh, sometimes if you want to use the size the size is included is included the wall thickness then we can use also use this inside but the drawing direction we choose another direction first point and then second point we use we do not use the clockwise direction we use anti clockwise direction for them from outside from the up now we can see the size 3320 mm this size is including the thickness of the wall so we left click and then left click right the left click will be okay so that means right click finish so that means for the inside the free wall inside the drone direction is different the thickness the size of the wall is different if you draw the wall with correct uh, clockwise then this size is not including the thickness of the wall if you draw this wall from the anti-clockwise change the direction then the size will include the thickness of the wall okay this is the difference with the free wall so now we delete this is the first option to create the room the second option is use the uh, draw some draw the room from some standard template for example here is already have some standard template of the room the first one is rectangle suppose we use the first one just left click and then in the right side you can see this room is come out this room is come out and also we can change the size just uh, click this wall and then move up and down up and down then the size will be changed will be changed if we want input the size of the wall then we just uh, click this wall okay click this wall select this wall means now we want moving this wall if we move this wall means we change the size of this size of the left size cannot change this size okay cannot change this size change this part suppose to be five meter then this wall is changed okay if we want to change this size 7760 then we need to select this wall okay because we need move this wall to change the size to change the top size suppose this size to be uh, six meter then we will okay this is for some uh, uh, template standard template okay then next is for some other template just left click and then this room is come out automatically come out automatically and then we can change the size from here just moving moving drag this the wall left and right up and down okay to change the position and we also and we also can just input the size okay input the size okay to change this change the, 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 the size between the wall to another wall okay this is the second option we draw uh, create the room from the some uh, stand template but sometimes if you want to design some full house solution full house solution if you still use the free wall or draw the wall from some uh, stand template it will be very slow the, the, the speed will be very slow so in that case in that case we suggest we suggest we use another ways to create the room it means the last one is import the house type layout input house type layout just click okay and then input house type layout plan okay then we front out the house type okay here we are already have the uh, house type layout before that before that we must we must save this house type layout and the format the format must be the image format can be JPEG or can, can be BMP or some other uh, uh, format and then open and then the software will remind us remind us to set in the scale then okay no problem control and from here left click from here and then the second point from here left click to come for these two points and then we get just input the size for this size should be uh, the same with this image 1630 
1637 1630 and then end so now we can see all the size will change it automatically at the same time okay after we have this layout we can use the free wall so that means we just use the, just use the free wall to trace this layout we became from them for them from here left click and from here from here okay to trace this layout trace this layout okay here I do not have a detail uh, trace it I just show you the method how can we create and the house layout with this way okay and then right click right click and in the middle there's some other work finish just tracing this uh, layout will be okay then right click finish okay for some other part is the same for some other part is the same uh, uh, solution after finish the lay uh, after finish the wall drawing here we can just uh, adjust the size okay adjust the size a little bit for example this one should be 1900 okay select the wall and then change the size or just input the size with the key okay slow this is very really easy and very really quickly for us to design some full house to design some full house and layout so that means in the future if you design the full house design will suggest first we sell this house layout with the image format and then we can input the house layout from here and then use the free wall to trace it in this uh, layout will be key after that we can adjust the size a little bit is enough okay and for some designer want after we tracing this uh, wall some designer want to delete this image it's also very easy huh? from here input input house layout and clean the house plan then it's come out it's, it's clean the jpeg uh, the image is delete okay this is three uh, ways three options to create the room the first one we use the free wall the second one is for the draw from some stand template okay the last one is input the house layout this is three option to create the room okay after finish the layout of the room then we can change the inside uh, structure for example here is some stand structure like the pillar the plant floor, the beam and for the wall home uh, we try it one by one for example the first one is the pillar is just left click left click and this area this pillar is come out suppose we position the uh, change uh, put the pillar in this position and then left click to confirm the position okay confirm the position will be okay and from here we can select this pillar and right side we can change the size the width the depth and also the height okay and we also can just press C C press C to change the size like this way it's also uh, easy huh? easy so from here we can change the size and also press C just press C we also can drag the, 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 the pillar to change the size and also the position for example this pillar will be contact this wall just input zero will be key to change the position very really easy uh -huh. there we can in the 3d and roaming space you can see this pillar is come out this pillar is come out okay the next option is for the the platform the platform that is similar with the uh, pillar left click to uh, select and in this area also left click to confirm the position and from here we can change the size change the size the width the depth and also the height and you also can just press C okay press C just drag the shape to change the shape and change the size with this way is also very convenient and also the position can be changed the position can be changed so now in the 3d or roaming space we can see this platform is come out this platform is come out then we delete this platform and also delete this pillar next is for the beam for the beam left click 
and from here he will contact the left and the right these two walls automatically okay then left click to confirm also the same we can just uh, click this bin and in the right side in the right side to change the size and also the position okay so then we can in 3d you can see this is the bin is come out the bin is come out sometimes if you want to change the position of this bin because from here this bin is for the horizontal if we want to change this bin to be a vertical to be vertic, then just uh, place press the space key press the space key press space key will change the uh, the direction of this beam okay the last one we try to use the uh, try the for the last one is for the wall home the wall home left click okay and for the wall home we must uh, put in the mid in the wall so cannot put in the middle so if in the middle in this area just left click then it's not coming it's not coming this is because for the wall home must put in the wall so left click suppose in this area we put the wall home so left click to confirm confirm and also the same the size the size and the positions everything is can be changed can be changed and in the 3d or raw mid space we can see here this home the wall home is come out the wall home is come out So that means from here we should understand it for the inside structure like the pillar, the platform, the beam, and the wall, uh, wall home. And also all the size and all the positions can be customized, can be changed. After we finish the house layout and inside structure, next we learn the how can we change the layout property. Just left click to select this layout and this is the layout properties. First, is the most important is the name. Here we should change the name, and also from here the same. The city the name. Here is all some all the some um, some standard names. We can choose any of these with okay. And also we can just input input the name like the wardrobe, the living room, some uh, other name with okay. Any name with okay, but it cannot be um name. This is because if we do not change the name. Uh, next, when we want to do the uh, export the quotation and want uh, place order, it will be fit. That means if we do not change the name, we cannot export the quotation and also cannot place the order. So that means this is a very important part. It's a very important part to change the name. Change the name. Second is for the the space height. The default height of this room is 2.7. Also, we can just input the size, the height we want. Suppose here we make it to be three meter, then okay. For this space, we also can change the size, change the height, and also the name. Suppose the name to is one. Then in the room space, we can see the height of this room is changed. The height of this room is changed. Okay, after finish the setting the name of this room and also setting the height of this space next from this the bottom part. The first one as we already know, this is for setting the name of the room. The second one is for setting the wallpaper. Setting all the wallpaper of this room. Like the wallpaper, this all the series wallpaper. But here uh, we do not we do not suggest to change the wallpaper from here. We change this wall, all the wallpaper in some other place. Later we have a very detailed introduction. The next one is for setting the floor tiles. This is similar with the uh, with the wallpaper. We can set it from here, but usually we do not suggest our designers to set it from here. The next one is setting the space uh, style. Space style. Uh, we just try to see what what is this okay here have some one two three four four standard style and that means if you change it if you select this style suppose that means in the future all the uh, decorations like the ceiling the wall the floor and also all the uh, uh, 
material information of this cavity will be the same, will be the same with these samples, will be the same with the samples. Here, we also do not suggest our designers to choose the, uh, to change the uh, space style with this way. We use another way which we learned later. Okay, so that means the fourth, uh, this, the sec second one, the third one, and the fourth one, these three, uh, three options, usually we do not suggest our designer to change from here. Okay. Next, for this part is for the, uh, the, 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 the kick pod, generating the foot lights because from here, from the Romy space or 3D space, we can see the uh, kickboard from here, right? We can delete. Just uh, left click to select and uh, delete. We can delete this line. And also, we can create left click from here to generate in the uh, foot lights. The foot lights. Here is all the foot light types. Just all the foot light types. We can, uh, from this uh, uh, drawing, we can choose the one we want. Suppose we like this one, okay, and then, okay. Now from here, the stand height is 100 millimeter. Of course, we can change the height, for example, we make it to be 200, the height. Then, then in the roaming space, we can see this foot light come out, and the height is 200 mm. And also the color, the materials, we can change the materials. Just left click from here. These are all the materials for this uh, foot lights. These are all the available materials. For example, the last one is material maps, like wood gray and uh, some fabric or some laser. Suppose we choose the fabric. This is all the fabric. We choose the orange colors. Then, okay, then from here, we can see the color is changed. Okay. Now, if you don't need this uh, keyboard, uh, foot, foot light, just uh, left click and the delete will be key. Okay. And also from here, we can edit, edit this uh, keyboard. For example, click this one and then select this keyboard. Okay. Here is the foot light edit. Here is the delete. Here is restore. If you choose delete, then okay. For this part, it's, come, it's, it's delete. For this song, also can edit. Select this part, and here is we have two points, right? This is the red point. This one is for the uh, the blue blue point. Suppose we choose this one, the stand point to be uh, mark 200, 200. Then okay. Then we can see this cable is extend outside 200 mm, 200 mm. Also, if, if we decide to be uh, minus 400, suppose minus 400, then we can see this foot lights go inside. It's go inside 400 mm. So that means for the foot lights, we can uh, customize, we can edit. Okay, here we just delete. Then we go back to the left click. Next is for the uh, Plaster line means the chromody. The chromody. This is similar with the foot line. From here, we can see this. This uh, chromody. Okay. We can just uh, delete. Just delete. If you want to add the uh, chromody, it's from here. 2D. Left click. This is all the types. All the types of the plaster line. Plaster line. Suppose this one. And from here, we can change the height. Change the height. And from here, we can change the materials. The colors, then okay. After that, you can from the three D or Romy space, you can see the 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 plaster lines come out. For example, we choose uh, these colors, then okay, then okay. It's come out. Okay, the color, the size, and the style is changed automatically. Okay, after finish the, the foot line and the plaster line, then next one is the automatic CD. Okay, uh, we just click, okay, automatic CD. Then from here, you can see the software will add the CD automatically for us. And from this space, it's more clear, right? From this space, more clear. This line, this line means the 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 the, uh, the city the city 
this city is a flat city the flat city from here is more clean right you can see it's two layer the first layer and the second layer this layer is for the city automatic city this one is the, 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 the top of this room but also usually we do not add the city uh, with this way we do not add we do not add the city from this way the next one is for the cutting this part we learn later the next one is for the uh, uh, match properties which means we copy the materials okay next for the uh, um, mirror left and the right left and right up and down to mirror and also from here it means a uh, rotation okay rotation the last one means delete if you want to delete this space just click from here delete with the key and for this room we also can um, delete okay next we add an, another room choose some stand template okay here change the name like this the last one is for the uh, material information material information it means actually this uh, function actually this function now is still cannot use still cannot use so from here we do not use these functions also sometimes sometimes our designer want to design some arc wall and this also uh, easy for example if you want to make this wall to be do not do not want this wall to be straight you want to be designed at the arc shape so just uh, left click to select this wall and from here this is the information this is information of this wall the first one means the arc wall and then click and then select this is information of this wall okay the height 2.7 meter and thickness this is the wall thickness here this is the arc arch height if we make it to be 500 that means from here to here the thickness the height is 500 so now from the 3D environment, 3D space, you can see this wall is changed to be the arc wall. If you want to change this wall to be the straight, change it back, then also from here, uh, arc wall to change to be straight. And also if you select this wall from here, it is some other information like the offset and also the split, okay, like a two point and uh, two part. Okay, for this part, our designer we can try by ourselves uh, one by one. This is not uh, not very difficult. Okay, this is for the host type. This is for two D. In the two D, uh, this is very important because in this interface we finish the layout of the room. Finish the layout of the room. After that, we can go to the three D and the roaming space. Next, we introduce the three D and the roaming space. For 3D, we can just change the position, change the uh, position of the room up and down, left and right, just like we are standing outside. We are standing outside of the room, so we can change the positions of the room very easy. And the next one is for the roaming space. For roaming space, just like uh, we are standing inside, we are standing inside the room, so we can see left and right, up and down, up and down. <laughs> And in the roaming space, is uh, I think it's more uh, reality for us, more reality for us. For our designers, we can, for our designers, we can choose any one of these two uh, according our habit. But here, uh, we suggest our designer choose the roaming uh, space because it's more reality for us to operations. Okay, the next part is very important. Uh, our designers should be very familiar uh, about. How can we change the position? How can we move in the 3D and the roaming space? And here we have a very detailed introduction of, of how can we move the space, how can we move the space in the 3D and roaming space. We left click, left click and do not raise, left click and hold on, and then left and right to rotation the room, left and right, and up and down to rotation this room in another direction so again left click and hold on to not, to not release and the left right up and down to rotation this room and also we can use the shortcut key shortcut key for example the w w means zoom in s means zoom out okay w means close 
W means close, S means fine, close and fine. Okay, and A, A means in the right, go to right, D means left. A is right, D is left, left and right. And also Q, Q means go down, go down, E means go up, up and down, up and down. So that means this shortcut key is very important. For our designers, we suggest we spend at least, for new designers, we suggest we spend, spend at least uh, 10 minutes to familiar about this shortcut key. So usually we use this shortcut key and uh, the mouse together, for example, like this one. This is very convenient for us to find out the position we want. Okay, and for sometimes, if this room is go outside, for example, this one is go outside, we cannot, for us, it's difficult for, for us to, to make this room uh, come back. So in this case, we suggest our designer just press home. Press home will be key, and this room will come up, come back, come back. Okay, we come back. And, and another option, another option is, if this room is go out, outside, it's go outside of screen, we just use the guard view. This guard view, guard view, and then click in the middle, then it's come out. Okay, this is very convenient. Convenient when this room is go outside of this screen, we can use the guard view or just use, uh, just press home. Then this room will come out, come, will come back automatically.